That sounds like you laughing for real. Really? Look at this. Do you see this? Is that cold? Not a nice room, but what you just you couldn't see because it, it was too dark or what? Yeah. Oh, so you so the last twenty four hours people were probably shitting on you for not seeing the coal. Probably. Well, uh, that could be expected from our audience. They uh, who, uh, who our reads audience is the very comments anymore. Listen, let's be our comment section is full of kind hearted, understanding people who realize. Sometimes two buddies just recording themselves playing a video game don't have to be experts at every single thing they're doing on screen. No, I agree with them. They should be experts. Ah, oh, shit. You're right. I mean, we are making it upwards of 80 cents per video. We should be taking this as seriously as any job. Yeah. <laughs> this is serious business. If we're not, then we might as well just play now, a different so, game. So here's how we get paid on this show. Each upload gets about 80 cents in revenue. We then have to subtract 35% for taxes and then divide the remaining money by two. So really, according to my math, we're both making like maybe 20 cents. <laughs> <laughs> so if uh, you're wondering why I don't take this uh, Pokemon or Minecraft super seriously, it's probably because it's a fucking waste of time to care about anything in my life at all. <laughs> hey, we, I can finally see. So you could see more stone. I can see clearly now the Rice Krispies are gone. Is this going to be two weeks of strip mining? I hope so. This is going to be two weeks of the Rice Krispies opera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep... It's going to be the new Chips Challenge. I'm going to keep doing it until people stop watching. <laughs> okay, you want to hear what else is on uh, the wheel? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Please! <laughs> <laughs> the list! Uh, if you're a fan of Buffalo Wild Wings, you might be familiar with something called the Blazin' Challenge. Now, we're gonna do- Whoa! We're gonna do this at home, In the Blazing Challenge, you have to, like, go there and eat 16 wings and have a judge and shit. I think that's stupid for what we're doing. We'll probably just order a small, uh, bone-in order of the Blazing Wings and then have them, like, door dash to my house, and then we'll just eat them at my house. But, uh, the Blazing Sauce is- the spiciest sauce the Buffalo Wild Wings offers. It's also the most disgusting in terms of taste. Uh, really, for me personally, the hardest part of it isn't the heat. It's that the wings genuinely taste like fucking ass. Uh, Biggs and I have both attempted the blazing challenge in the past. I have footage of Biggs do, uh, attempting it. And I actually succeeded, but it was not on camera. So, it, Oh, so it didn't happen. Might as well. So really, if either one of us land on this, it's a uh, it's a story of redemption. Will Biggs uh, correct? Maybe I'll grow some wings. Will Biggs uh, survive after failing in high school, and will I do it on camera? <laughs> if if I land on that, I'm losing. There's no way I'm winning. Do you wanna you wanna talk about why maybe about half of these are gonna be impossible for you, Biggs? <clears throat> Yeah, I think over half the wheel is going to be impossible for me because there's spice challenges. Lots of spicy challenges. And I may be half Mexican, but what a lot of you don't, well, everyone probably doesn't know because I don't think we've ever talked about it. I don't know why we would. <clears throat> it's yeah. really weird. It's such a random thing, but um, I have this genetic issue at the back of my tongue where there's just <laughs> giant slits in it. Like but the it, ladies love it. it. It looks like somebody took a knife and just slit across my whole tongue. Oh my over God. Over and over and over. Was it blaze while you were sleeping with your tongue out like a cartoon? Probably. You just fucking slashed that bad boy up? Yeah, but uh, so if I eat spicy stuff, it gets down the crevices <laughs> and it intensifies by at least a thousand percent. <laughs> So when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, people may call me like a wimp for getting honey barbecue wings every time. But those are actually hold up, hot. Hold up. Why would anybody call you a wimp for enjoying honey barbecue wings? I get that shit half the time I go. They're <laughs> fucking good. You know, eating dinner is not meant to be like a manly challenge. You eat dinner because the food is good and you want to enjoy yourself. Apparently you've never eaten dinner with a chad, okay? <laughs> Could you imagine how sad your life would be if ev uh, every it already single is. every you single thing you do has to be like an epic challenge to prove how manly and tough you are? You can't even enjoy food unless it's like a million Scoville. <laughs> Fucking sad. I thought you didn't believe in the Scoville units, anyways. Well, I I mean it's like IQ. It's all fucking bullshit. Yeah. Did you Did you get what you were digging for? Um, no. <laughs> I, I guess I'm just done. Oh, God, it's raining. Men. Ooh, hey. It's pouring. Okay. 
Uh, here's one that I stole from Rusty Cage. About time I stole something from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's called uh, "Eat a Whole Lemon." That that includes the 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 rind and the whole thing. Rusty Cage has a, an entire 80 minute video on his channel just eating one lemon. I thought that's fucking lame. What if that's More just like layman? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking layman. Oh. Lame is. <laughs> so I thought. Uh, oh, Rusty Cage, you think eating a whole lemon is worthy of an entire, its own fucking video? Stupid. That's gonna be one sixteenth of our video, because we're making a lay epic food challenge video. Every single meal you eat as a man <clears throat> should be challenging. Do well, you, duh. Like, if you if aren't... it's not, you're not even a man. I would say, patheticless entry of the day, people who don't make every single meal an intense challenge to prove how manly and how big their dick is. I agree. If you eat, like, what, honey barbecue <clears throat> wings, you might as well just hand in your man card right now. Get a pussy pass, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Biggs is getting up, walking out of the room. He's eating all my Rice Krispies. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh... Okay, here's one that I wanted to include that I think neither one of us will uh, be any good at. Why did OK Google just pop up? What did I... Audience, what did I say that made OK Google think I was talking to it? <laughs> that should be a new segment on the show. OK Boomer? No, what... There it goes again. What activates OK Google? Okay, so stop much... saying it! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> uh, it's, it's take five shots of, uh, of hard liquor. Now, I'm not very good at taking one shot. I'm more of a mixed drink uh, fellow. I I'll take, like, shots of Fireball because it's, like, 5% alcohol and it's a delicious, sweet uh, treat. But five shots of hard liquor at the same time. I don't know. If the, if the rule of the wheel of cursed meals is you're not allowed to vomit until you complete your meal, you're going to have to chug this shit real fucking fast <laughs> without vomiting, Biggs. Do you, are you good at... I mean, you don't even drink. So how, how do you think you're going to go at this? <clears throat> Another thing we've never talked about before, but I am actually an ex-alcoholic. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and, Every, uh, everybody who's like, oh, when I was in my early 20s, man, dude, I, I drank a whole Budweiser every you, night. You were real at, alcoholic. You were at the party. Okay, so we used I drink to, at parties, no, bro. No, listen. I'm an alcoholic. We used to live in this little apartment, me and Cobb, and we would have literally people over, like, Five times a week, yeah, and we would get drunk every day, yeah, nonstop. Alcoholism is a physical dependency, Biggs. Could you survive the day without getting drunk, dude? I was drinking while working at TMC. <laughs> well, that's that's because that job is boring. But okay, anyways, no, I mean, for for real, could you could you survive a whole day without drinking, or did you need it? Did you crave it? I craved it a lot. I don't know. How'd you stop? We need, I, we need to give this advice to Asperger because I don't know if he knows how to stop. See, I never ask for help on anything, so uh -oh. I just cold turkeyed it and went through a living hell. Oh, well, like, uh, like just sweating all the time and shit. Yeah, withdrawals and like, oh man. How's well, that? I mean, I don't it, know it got about to a it. point. It got to a point where I literally couldn't afford it, so I was like, <laughs> I had no choice. That's but a uh, good way to, to stop. Yeah. What well, What was the? Uh, what was like the physical pain and abnormalities like? I'm really curious about withdrawal. Um, a lot of it was like the shakiness. I felt Fuck. really weak. I don't know why, but I felt like my body was just achy and I hated being awake. So what you're saying is I shouldn't try to gatekeep alcoholism from a guy who was actually an alcoholic? I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> like, I give a fuck about you or alcoholism. <laughs> but, man, every fucking overweight Hispanic guy named Brandon I know claims he's an alcoholic. Uh -oh. What, are you going to fucking beat your girlfriend next, Biggs? Uh, no. You should beat me. Uh, I do every day. What, in checkers? <laughs> I'm playing chess, no, not checkers. No, at Call of Duty. Motherfucker, Anyways. Motherfucker, we have two controllers. You want to do a 1v1 on Bog right now? Dude, I'll beat you. We we'll stream it. We literally should do a 1v1 <laughs> in, in Modern Warfare. That'd be funny. Uh, so anyways, um, I haven't really drank really anything <laughs> in a long time. So if um, you do this five shots, you're going to just get wasted? I don't, well, I mean, what I don't think I'll What if you relapse get... and I make you an alcoholic again? <laughs> well, then that's just something you have to live with, but I don't think you'll care. So you'll <laughs> just have another drinking buddy. Yeah, I won't give a shit. I'll be happy. <clears throat> Fuck so, yeah. 
I don't think I'll get wasted from it, but obviously not. For five shots at once? You'd be drunk, Look dude. how big I am. It's not going to affect Yeah, but you haven't had a drink in, what, a year? As long as I don't do it with an empty stomach, I'll be fine. Well, if this is the first thing you land on on the wheel, then you will have an empty stomach. Uh-oh. What, are we going to eat a fucking buffet before the wheel? Yeah. Got to go to Pepper Jacks. I literally just threw up in my mouth and I don't know why. <laughs> I heard it and I was wondering <laughs> yeah, like, uh, what was going on over there. What, what, what was said <laughs> that made me vomit in my mouth? Uh, next one. Uh, we wanted to do a spicy candy challenge. I didn't want to repeat the same spicy uh, ghost pepper thing that I did as its own video. Because as we all know, doing an individual food challenge for its own video is a super lay epic awesome video idea. That I did not steal from Rusty Cage. So I went on Amazon and just Googled spiciest candy. And we found a company that claims to have invented the world's <clears throat> spiciest bar of chocolate. Oh, and yeah. It cost $18 for like two ounces. Yeah, and, uh, and it's so small. It's like the size of a dime. Well, it's like two dimes. Yeah, it's like two ounces. But uh, <laughs> that's probably a good thing considering how fucking hot it's going to be. So I'm hoping Biggs lands on that one. Because, like you said, he cannot handle spicy food. I'll probably end up getting all the spicy challenges. I'm just going to lose miserably. <laughs> Literally miserably because I don't have any points and also I'm dying. Yeah, I think it would be good if I made you eat all the spicy ones and then drink five shots of vodka. So then it will intensify even more in your mouth and then we'll have to take you to the hospital. Yeah, I'd probably die. There should be, uh, we should add hospital food to the wheel where you have to get hospitalized to eat the food. There's, <laughs> but there's some hospitals that literally have like a McDonald's in it, <laughs> which is kind of counterproductive if you think about it. <laughs> I mean, unless you're in there for like heart disease or obesity, I don't know how counterproductive it might be. Because it's not healthy for you at all. And well, I guess hospitals don't care about keeping you out. They kind of want you to come yeah, back. Yeah, no shit. They want to get you sick as fuck so you can come back and give them more uh, uh, boost. Are you actually doing a thing in this game? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I'm getting supplies so I don't die. Are you supposed to have a shitty little shed, or are you supposed to build a house? Oh, I don't have enough stone. Rip. I should have known that. Rip. Fake fag. Or what? <laughs> Fake pan. Whoa! Talk about a Freudian <laughs> slip, folks. What was I even trying to say? That fag came out. Whoa! I would never use words like faggot and retard, dude. It's 2019. I think you called me both of those things within the last 24 hours. <laughs> Probably this morning when I woke up. Hey, what's up, you retarded faggot? <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're adding retard to the list? Uh, to the pathetic list? I don't think they're pathetic at all, Biggs. No. Think... <laughs> uh, okay. What's next? Uh, okay, here's one that I'm very excited for. Okay, Boomer. It's called the Pick 3 Blender. So how it works is... If Biggs lands on pick three blender, his opponent, me, gets to choose three unused wheel items, so like three things that haven't been landed on yet, to blend up together, and then Biggs has to consume it. But because it's a super boosted, difficult challenge, you get two points if you complete it instead of one. However, if Biggs refuses to even try it, I, as the guy who blended the stuff together have to drink it myself or else I lose a point. I think it, it's a great strategy uh, mind fuck addition to the wheel because I have to come up with something so bad that you won't do it, but easy enough that I think I can do it. Do you see what we're saying here, Biggs? Yeah, but the thing is, I don't think you're going to be able to find any combination that I won't do that you will do. <laughs> uh, I, I disagree. I'll pick the three spiciest things left and throw them together. You will not do it. I'll do it. Well, the the idea is I only have to like I only have to do it if you straight up refuse. If you attempt and lose, then the the other person can't, you know, steal the point cuz right. it's only it's a half consumed item. You, it's not You forget how competitive I am though. Well, then I mean, if I get to win, win why am I talking like a retard today? I don't know. Um if I win, literally nothing for this challenge that we're doing. Uh, that'll be more than winning something else, I uh, guess. Bragging rights is yeah. more valuable than money ever could be. F what I'm hearing right now is you're so stupid you're going to attempt something you can't possibly do and I won't have to do it myself. So I'm just going to pick the three most difficult things. I'm going to pick the fucking blazing challenge because it's bone and wings. You're going to have to fucking drink bones. How do you like that, you fuck? 
<laughs> oh, not so easy now, is it? Um, yeah, it sounds like I'm boned. Hey, we'll see you next time on the Rice Krispies <laughs> Opera. Da -da 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 -da.